Welcome to Travel Discovery. I am Lisa and I will be your host. Today we are spotlighting the country of South Africa, the country at the most southern tip of the continent of Africa. South Africa has a beautiful coastline, a beautiful harbor. Really, the country has a vibrant energy like the sun-kissed wave it's famed for. It's a country that paints itself on your soul. From the majestic Table Mountain that we will see in a bit that overlooks Cape Town to the endless savannas teeming with wildlife, there's something for every explorer. So let's dive into the basics, some must-dos, and some quirky fun facts to ignite your South African adventure. If paragliding is your thing, you can actually do that in Cape Town. Here we see a beautiful view of some brave paragliders. You can see Table Mountain in the distance. Let's talk about it. It's an iconic feature that earned its name as a result of millions of years of geological processes and erosion. Table Mountain, the majestic flat-topped behemoth overlooking Cape Town, is more than just a pretty face. It's a dramatic silhouette framed by Devil's Peak and Lion's Head. It has captivated visitors for centuries. But beyond its postcard perfect looks lies a treasure trove of biodiversity, adventure, and cultural significance. Table Mountain is a World Heritage Site, and it's home to the richest yet smallest floral kingdom on Earth. Table Mountain is not just a landmark, it's the beating heart of Cape Town. It's ever-changing moods from shrouded in the mist to basking in golden sunlight reflect the city's vibrant spirit. So whether you're seeking adventure, serenity, or a connection to Cape Town soul, Table Mountain awaits. Let's head over to Johannesburg. South Africa boasts a population of nearly 60 million. It's a melting pot of ethnicities and cultures. There are 11 official languages with English and Afrikaans being the most common. The best time to visit, it depends on your priorities. If you're looking for wildlife adventure, May to October for dry season, that way you can take part in the safaris. Uh, whales are from August to November. If you want to visit Cape Town, come November to March for warm weather and sunshine. If you want the garden route, then December to April for peak summer and outdoor activities. Here are some fun facts to impress your friends. Uh, first of all, South Africa is home to the largest population of penguins in Africa and the world's smallest penguin, the rock hopper. Bungee jumping was invented in South Africa with the highest commercial bridge jump in the world at Blokeren's Bridge. The Drakensberg Mountains are older than the Himalayas, dating back to over 300 million years. Johannesburg is the world's largest city built on gold, boasting the deepest mines on Earth. Beyond the beauty though, South Africa's history speaks volumes of resilience and hope. You can visit Robben Island to learn about Nelson Mandela's imprisonment and the fight against apartheid. Immerse yourself in local markets, vibrant music, and delicious barbecue. South Africa is a tapestry woven with diverse cultures, stunning landscapes, and a spirit that will move you. So pack your bags, book your flight, and prepare to be captivated by the Rainbow Nation. something for everyone to do in South Africa. You can embrace the Big Five. So you can go on a thrilling safari in the Kruger National Park or Addo Elephant National Park and catch a glimpse of lions, elephants, rhinos, buffaloes, leopards in their natural habitat. You can hike to Haven. You can climb Table Mountain or go to a National Botanical Garden for panoramic views that will leave you breathless. You can also surf and of course, visit Cape Town Cool, where you can explore the waterfront, discover street art, or take a ride on the iconic cable car to Table Mountain's Peak. So maybe you've never 
never considered South Africa as a travel destination or to live temporarily or permanently as a digital nomad, but it is becoming more and more popular. So Cape Town might be a place that you might want to investigate. So if you want adventure, come to the southern tip of Africa. So I'll leave you with some amazing aesthetic videos of South Africa, the shoreline, the mountains, the greenery. And be sure to check out my other videos as we spotlight different countries in the world. Our goal really is to spotlight all countries of the world because every country has something to offer, whether it's culture, food, the people, the language, the scenery. Every country, even if it's a war-torn country, still has something to offer. See you next time on Travel Discovery to see what we will discover next and check out some links in the description if you're thinking of being a digital nomad or you need a mailbox and you're going overseas, you still need a mailing address, uh, check it out. See you next time. Enjoy South Africa.